Okay, uh, well, good morning, everybody. Um, so today we heard in the Gospels about Jesus healing on the Sabbath and telling the man with that shriveled hand to stretch it out, and when he did, it was healed. And then Reverend explained to us, kind of, the, kind of warned us about having hardened hearts and how so many people around Jesus, when he was doing that healing, had these hardened hearts. And we see that even in our world, so many people with hard hearts. Today I'm standing here really because this church made a commitment to be an inclusive and inviting space for LGBTQ people and to recognize and accept us as full participants of God's great plan. Just to give a little bit of a brief background to myself, I kind of grew up in the church, initially Catholic and then missionary church, which was like a kind of cousin to the Methodist church. Um, I was actively involved in my youth group. I went on eventually to Bible college and seminary preparing to be in the ministry. However, no matter how hard I tried, there was really no way that I could fully fit into many of these spiritual spaces. Everywhere I turned, it seemed like people had hardened hearts towards me. And after years of finding so much of my life centered in the church and finding joy in the church, I eventually found myself wandering without a real spiritual home because everywhere I just felt abandonment and hurt. Um, people that claimed to be brothers and sisters kind of turned me away. And this was a really dark time spiritually for me. Um, and at the time, I didn't really have a way to talk about it or explain it. It was just this heavy feeling that I felt. So when I moved to Hyde Park, I was actually looking for churches that had congregations of people whose hearts were just melted by the love of Jesus, that were not hardened in a way that would turn me away or let me feel abandoned, but allowed me to participate fully in God's plan. And I found that here at United. I found a congregation robust in God's love that had a congregation that was committed to... Um, to, to supporting people with LG, who are in LGBTQ circles as well as to provide ministries for LGBTQ plus people. The ministries here at United have allowed me to restart my faith journey and not from one of fear and timidity and hurt but one that is rather centered on love and joy. The ministries facilitate a number of events. We have the coming out stories that were mentioned and we'll have another one next week that allow people to share their joys as well as their, their experiences throughout kind of their life. Um, it allows them to talk about their challenges and their growth as well. We've watched documentaries with discussions about LGBTQ people and their role in the church. We've attended Pride, the Pride Parade and also organized the Transgender Day of Remembrance. These events provide a way for United to reach out their open arms and show LGBTQ people that they matter, that their stories matter, and that their names matter. These ministries provide an avenue to continue the healing work that Christ did back on that Sabbath so many years ago. And in a world that continues to be filled with hardened hearts and is often hostile to LGBTQ people, the LGBTQ ministries at United allows us to be that, uh, allows us to kind of be amidst that adversity of Pharisees and say, stretch out your arm. And for me, somebody who entered this church for the first time, really just because there was a pride flag on the, the door, it allowed me to stretch out my arm, that shriveled faith that I have, and to see it healing amidst this congregation. So today I encourage you that as we begin Pride Month that you consider the special offering to support LGBTQ ministries so that we can continue that work of healing that Jesus Christ did on that Sabbath long, long time ago. All right, thank you. <laughs> 